डॉपलर इफेक्ट ए पोलिस कार इज पार्ट ऑन द साइड ऑफ द हाईवे साउंडिंग इट्स थाउजेंड हार्च साइलेंट If you are also parked by the highway, highway, you will hear the same frequency. However, if there is relative motion between you and the police car, there is a relative motion. This is the you, and this is police. This is the distance, and V bar is your motion, and V, Y P, and V, P Y is relative motion motion with respect to you. However, if there is a relative motion between you and the police car. either toward or away from each other you will hear a different frequency for example you if you are driving toward the police car at 120 km per hour so friends i have told that if you are driving toward the police car at 120 Kilo kimi hertz, or kili kilometer per hour. Sorry, kilometer per hour. Your velocity. Okay, this is VYP. So, and you will hear higher frequency. Frequency. If you are driving away from this is the when I police car also move and you also move, then it is higher. frequency okay it is higher frequency but when when if you driving away from the police car at the same speed you will hear lower frequency frequency okay when police car And police car is this way. Suppose, and you will moving this way, then you see lower frequency. You hear lower frequency. Lower frequency frequency of police car. So, if you are driving away from the police car at the same speed, you will hear lower frequency. This motion related. frequency changes are example of the doppler effect this is called frequency changes doppler effect means frequency changes doppler effect means frequency changes this motion related frequency changes as examples of the doppler effect the effect was proposed pro proposed 1842-42 by 1842 by austrian austrian physicist john christian doppler john john Christian Doppler. Okay. It was tested experimentally eighteen forty five by by Spalot in Holland using a locomotive drawing an open car and several trumpeter. The Doppler effect holds not only for sound waves but also electromagnetic waves, including 
microwaves, radio waves, visible light. Including microwave, visible light. Here, however, we shall consider only sounds wave. We shall take as a reference frame the body of air through which these waves travel. This means that we shall measure the speeds of source of sound waves and a detector D of those waves relative to that body of air. We shall assume that S and D move. So we shall measure the speeds of source S. Source S. Source S of sound wave. and D for D equals to detector D detector detector so those waves relative to that body of air and so the speed can also be measured relatively to the ground we shall assume that S and D move either directly towards and directly away from each other at speeds less than the speed of sound. If either detector or the sound source is moving, both are moving the emitted frequency F. Frequency F for frequency. frequency and detected frequency emitted if emitted frequency this frequency is emitted and f dash equals to detected frequency detected frequency then f dash equals to f into v plus minus v divided by v plus minus v s v plus minus v s so friends this is the general doppler effect where v is speed of the so v equal to equals to speed of of sound v equals to speed of sound okay and v is plasma sound through through the air and vd equals to equals to detector speed detector speed speed relative to the air relative to the air so you have understand v equals to speed of of the sound through the air and vd is equal to speed of the relative to the air and v is v is equal to source speed source speed relative to the air okay in short two words means Two words mean shift up. Two word means shift up and and away means away means shift down. So 
some examples of the rule detector moves towards the source use plus sign means numer plus sign and shift up in the frequency if it moves away use minus sign in the numerator of sequence Frequ numerator means this case i write f dash is equal to f into v plus minus vd divided by v plus minus vs so two words means plus sign the sign is plus and two away means minus away means minus sign sign if it is stationary substitute zero for vd and if source moves toward the detector use the minus sign shift up in the frequency to get shift up if it moves away use the plus sign in the denominator to get a shift down if the source is stationary substitute zero for vs now friends my discussion is totally now i stop my total discussions because doppler effect there are the speci specific two specific situations okay when the detector moves relative to the air and the source is stationary relative to the air the motion changes the frequency at which the detector intercepts waveforms and thus the detected frequency of the sound wave when the source moves moves relative to the air that and the detector is stationary relative to the air the motion changes the wavelength of the sound waves thus the detected frequency frequency so friends this two specific specific case i shall discuss my next video where i will will discuss this two specific specific case detector moving and source is stationary i will also discuss the equations now thanks for watching i hope i can give a small idea about doppler effect